Buhari and uh, I'm the managing director of My Ticket Ghana. Ticket Ghana is an e-ticketing platform uh, for uh, bus, bus companies and uh, airliners, so people can buy a travel ticket uh, online through the mobile app or uh, the website. Starting a business in Ghana is very interesting. Um, well, for me, I, uh, two and a half years ago I came to Ghana and uh, I was uh, involved in a project surrounding Trotros uh, and uh, digitizing them, uh, their information for maybe like a transport app. Um, and then I was um, forced to think of uh, ways to, uh, to see if this could develop into something uh, like a real business. Um, and I got involved with two other guys and we started uh, My Ticket Ghana. Uh, to do uh, e-ticketing for, uh, for uh, bus operators and uh, airliners. Okay, so uh, in the beginning we were very lucky that we signed, this, we signed the first client very fast. Uh, that was like the, the, the starting point uh, of us, but we, also, we always needed, needed more, uh, more people to, to get on board, like more bus operators or airliners. Uh, but it was really good that we uh, also signed uh, Passion Air and Africa World Airlines. Um, and also recently uh, uh, VIP uh, came to us uh, uh, on a pi pilot program, you guys also posted something about that. Uh, and we're now in talks with them to also uh, 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 widen the, the pilot program to like something more uh, lasting. Um, and uh, yeah, so that was like the, the, the beginning was really about like finding clients because that's really important to you know, become a sustainable business, but we were really lucky that we, uh, or we had the right fit for, uh, for the market, because uh, we, we are the only players who uh, offer offered this something, this to, to, uh, to transport operators. We also added an event section, uh, whereby you can buy uh, uh, tickets for events, uh, but it's a smaller part of our business, but it was an easy add-on for us. Uh, we were thinking about our business lines, and we say hey, we have an uh, event uh, event app, uh, for we have a uh, ticketing app, and we can also sell uh, sell event tickets. So that's also something that we do. It's not our core business, but uh, it's also some it's also a product that we have. Because it's IT, uh, a lot of people they want it, but they don't. Um, uh, so these these bus companies, for example, they they are really looking to digitize their processes, but they don't really understand uh, what is necessary to to uh, to do it, or they don't understand the value. So sometimes there's a big gap between what they want and what we offer, or what we ask for it. Um, and this is this has to do with a lot of like uh, um, education, where we also try to. Uh, give insights of okay, how does how can IT actually bring value to your business? Um, and that sometimes it, that that is sometimes a challenge that we uh, we uh, uh, we have we have in the tech industry. It's really uh, a long game. So you see a lot of like tech companies out there. Example is Jumia. Uh, Jumia has not made a profit uh, since they uh, since they have inc they incorporated. They're even making more losses than they make uh, revenue. Uh, so we are also not uh, profitable yet, but uh, same thing goes for Uber, same thing goes for, uh, for uh, Lyft, uh, Bolt. Um, so uh, we're not the only ones out there. It's really like uh, we, it's a long shot because we're really building, uh, we're building like an ecosystem and uh, th these things take time. So no, we're not profitable yet, but uh, we hope to be uh, soon. We, we did a first round of funding and uh, we got funded by a, a Dutch, uh, Dutch organization, a Dutch institution that uh, funds uh, startups uh, that do uh, interesting, uh, interesting stuff in emerging markets. So uh, that's how we, uh, uh, we got funded. A lot of people ask me this question and um, I found it always like amusing how people think about uh, the difference between Ghanaian or abroad or white or uh, of course there are like there are cultural differences and uh, we all speak a different language in the sense of okay what's what are our, our, our values but uh, oh no in, in the sense of how do we communicate with each other but uh, I think if the values are all the same, if we have like an understanding of how to do business, how to work with each other, uh, what are our goals, um, then it doesn't really matter that, that we are from a different background, uh, that I was born somewhere in Amsterdam and that they were born in Accra. It doesn't really matter. I think the most important uh, uh, thing is that uh, we, share the same, uh, we share the same vision, we share the same values and we, we all work, we're all working together 
very hard to like, achieve our goals. Uh, so of course, if, uh, you, sometimes you have some uh, some issues, but uh, I also have some issues when uh, when I speak with with people that uh, are ethnic, ethnically uh, closer to me. So uh, no, I don't. It's it's like for me, it's really nice. I, I learn a lot, so that's really good. When I came for the first time, I stayed for nine months straight. And then my mother called me and she said, hey, you need to come home. <laughs> so I went back home for two weeks and then, uh, but like, I was really busy, you know, you're starting your business, the only thing you're, do you're working on is like we really focused, step by step, making sure that, uh, that you survive as you also, uh, you know, you want, you, want to, you want to build. So I was really focused uh, here and uh, after one and a half years, I, um, I went back to Amsterdam. So I'm also now do uh, doing a lot of things in Amsterdam. Uh, and I also started some, doing something in Uganda, so I'm, I'm more of like uh, going, uh, going and coming, uh, as they say. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, I've been definitely uh, going back uh, home, uh, as, as, so to speak. Groundnut soup. Yes, with rice balls. <laughs> okay, I don't like uh, fufu and banku. That's like, I can't, I can't eat it. Uh, it's, it's very, uh, I can't, I can't do it. Sorry. <laughs> Next five years, we really try to uh, uh, build like an infrastructure in the in nationwide Ghana, whereby uh, all the, all, every, every, every company that, that uh, helps people going, go from A to B, they are um, on our platform, uh, making this service accessible for everyone who has a smartphone or a website uh, on, on, on their computer. Um, that's like the that's the plan for Ghana, and we're already looking at like doing uh, uh, business in other countries, whereby we have an interest, interesting interested party in uh, in Uganda who maybe uh, is looking uh, to uh, to get our software solution. Uh, so of course, you know, we're we're, we're trying to build. Uh, we're not only looking at the Ghanaian market, but for now, we really want to. We really want to focus on the Ghanaian market. If you want to start a business, uh, just go for it. You know, uh, that's something I always say to uh, to everyone who asks me. Like so some young people come to me to, for advice, uh, and that's always what I what I say to them. Uh, just be, be very very bold. Um, if if it doesn't make if it and even if you fail, like it, it's not a failure. Failure. There's only there are only lessons that you can learn. Uh, and with that, with those lessons, you can adapt them in, in, in any anything you're going to do in your life. Either you're going to work for someone, or you're going to start something else. Uh, all the things that you will uh, learn from starting a business will be way more valuable than if you sit in an office for someone nine to five, uh, doing some, some, something that someone else else can also do. So just go out there, uh, have your shot, and uh, see what happens.